Apple is innovating right now. Bro, so this was so crazy. Like, AI has been a thing for a while. Yeah. But do you remember that time period last year where Apple was filming their presentations on their iPhones and people were like, is this the next step in cinema? Like, yeah. are, are we, are we going to be like iPhones? Are they legit now? Log recording directly to SSDs. And you know what stepped on their neck? Mm. AI. Yeah. Journey of AI just like literally hit the scene and made us forget that Apple or DJI is stepping into the mirrorless game. But yeah, you're right. I, I kind of forgot about, uh, I mean, we talk a little bit about the DJI rumors because they sort of, you know, come up every now and again. But yeah. in the world of AI, a lot of people are asking, do we even need cameras anymore? For sure. Like Apple's literally not, when they stepped, when Apple stepped into the game and when DJI also was rumored to step into the game of cinema, like everybody was like, oh my gosh, like. What type of waves could an Apple, could a DJI make to transform the industry? Now we got AI and we can just prompt. <laughs> <laughs> but when you think about somebody like, I mean, DJI definitely has some deep pockets. But when you think about deep pockets, nobody even comes close to somebody like Apple. And so when you think about a company who has... Who are they buying? Well, so here's my thought. Who can they buy? I always thought they were going to buy Blackmagic, but... When you look at someone like an Apple and they have literally what feels like infinite amounts of money. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen this news story, but it basically says that Apple spent, spent like bukus of billions of dollars and spent 10 years trying to make a car and was just like, eh, it didn't work. Shelve it. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we came out with CarPlay. Yeah. And it only halfway works on your phone wirelessly. Yeah. So... The fact that they could spend that much money on an industry that they had not entered in kind of gives me a lot of hope that this camera space could be a real thing only because if you are Apple, mm -hmm. right, and not only do you do all the tech and all the things, you make products that people can buy, a camera makes sense mm -hmm. because you're so big into it with your phones that it would make sense that a camera would naturally come next. But when you also think about the fact that they have the most award winningest streaming platform yeah. currently on the market mm -hmm. and that they are clearly not focused about quantity, but quality in every fashion, it makes sense that if they're going to be making high quality movies, TV shows, yeah. that they're going to want everything to be done on their devices because it's just feasibly a better solution. Yeah, I so, think I think they're going to take a stab at it. I think they are too. So do you have the the story of the actual sensor that they came out with? Yeah, or that yeah. they patented rather? Yeah, so basically Apple just patented a image sensor that has quoted 20 stops of dynamic range. So what does this mean? Can it see into heaven and hell? Like, <laughs> is that what that means? It means when they look into the fire, there will be no clipping. <laughs> Zero clipping. This is 64-bit audio float. <laughs> uh -huh. No, so here's the crazy part in a genuine way, Brandon, because we actually joked about this, like, what camera were we talking about? Like we our were dream talking camera? about the we were talking about the Canon R one X. Yeah, that that's the camera. I want twenty one stops of dynamic, dynamic range. And Apple was like, "Okay, okay, we got you. We got you. we listening <laughs> to uncensored. We got you." But what else do you want? <laughs> Seriously. So here's the crazy part. So what I've heard of actual usable stops, not just what it turns into noise and mm -hmm. grain. And when cameras be saying, I got 16 stops, I've heard, okay, heard that like an, an, an Alexa, an RA camera is like 14, 15, like mm -hmm. actual usable, not like the whatever. And so here's the crazy piece. Apple may be doing that like usable 20 stops, but I've heard that the human eye is somewhere around 20 or 21, which is why we threw out 
I want to do 21 stops at Dynamic Range. Because now we're literally talking about like your own human eye ability to stare into the sky, to see the sun, to see all the gradients of the sky, and to see the shadow that's being cast by this tree and it not being clipped in the sun and it not being like like uh the shadows not going clipped in the shadows either like you're able to see the details in it like your human eye would be able to do and if apple literally comes out with a sensor that has 20 usable stops of dynamic range do they crush the cinema industry do they take such a massive leap from what anybody else can do and do they crush everyone or i guess the question is does it feel hdre or does it like does it is it doing too much where it's just like you're doing too much and we don't like it i don't know but if it's 20 real stops of dynamic range i think uh, does sony have an answer does canon have an answer does does lumix have an answer does nikon have an answer so I'm going to take a different approach because as you said it, a, a thought came to my mind. Yeah. So what we know so far, the only news story that we actually know yeah. is that Apple is patenting this sensor that can do this. Well, I got a side side quest for you in a second, but go for it. So what if this is a huge what if? What if this is not a camera camera? Mm hmm. Because when you start thinking about the human eye, mm -hmm. I start thinking about Apple Vision Pro. Mm -hmm. And I think about how Apple's whole bank on Apple Vision Pro was the idea that, you know, you could, they had cameras in the Apple Vision Pro mm -hmm. that could see the world as they would claim it, true to the eye. So you would think you're looking at the real world but really what you were actually looking at were screens in front of your face. You actually yeah. couldn't see the real world. You were just being projected the real world onto those screens. And so if they ever do want to get to a place where Apple Vision Pro is the future, whether mm -hmm. they're making it smaller, making it more like sunglasses or eyeglasses, but their goal is to not have a AR display, mm -hmm. but to have a actual VR display, but it's so good that what you see in the real world is what you're being projected on the screen and there's no difference there. Yeah. They would need a sensor mm -hmm. that would be as good as the human eye. Yeah. And so whether this is a camera, like an actual sensor that's going to go into a cinema body that will create content that goes onto Apple Vision Pro headsets, mm -hmm. or this is a camera sensor that they have figured out how to make it small enough to actually go into a pair of Apple Vision Pro headsets yeah. that could then project the real world back into your eyes. That's where, for me, I go, 20 stops of dynamic range for a film is ridiculous and possibly unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But if you are trying to replicate reality in real time yeah. with VR goggles, that's kind of the only way you can go. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this because let's face it, sooner or later, I might just be AI and you'll never know, or maybe you will.